What are the biggest mistakes companies are making with mobile marketing and advertising? I think the biggest mistakes that they're making right now is um, trying to think that everything they did on the web is they're just going to be able to sort of shove it at mobile and it's going to work the same way. Right. Um, you know, mobile itself, uh, by its very nature, is an intent-driven platform, and by that I mean, uh, I pick up my phone to you know check my email, to check into Foursquare, to see what the weather's going to be like. And so to think that you can do a lot of the things that people are sort of passively doing in front of a computer, you know, sort of fool them with ads or things like that, it's just not going to work. And so sure. this, uh, I think the key to success for marketers and for um, folks who are, are you know, trying to succeed at mobile is creating a conversation through their apps. Mm. Um, and I think that's, that's the absolute key, um, driving this conversation which gets engagement which gets people thinking about the brand both on this screen but also on other screens. Okay. Looking at are, are there companies or apps <laughs> that are doing a good job of that? Um, yeah, there's, there's a bunch of apps that are doing, you know, um, a, a good job of that. You know, uh, ESPN's a great example. You know, they, they, um, they're sort of on the far end of the spectrum because they, they'll do things. They keep users engaged on their website, on mobile, on iPad, all those different ones. And they have a really nice experience between all of them um, that they've been really effective. Um, <clears throat> to give you an idea, like a couple apps that are sort of not, that are, that are good, but they aren't, don't quite get it. Um, so like Tom's Shoes and the Louis Vuitton apps. <clears throat> they're, they're good apps, but you know, you install them and, and they're maybe single purpose, single use apps. Mm -hmm. and that's really not what apps are about. Mm -hmm. um, another example is uh, Toyota. Um, if you download the Toyota app today, <clears throat> you can configure your Camry and request a quote. Yeah. Right, so the last thing I'm doing is going into the app store and, and thinking, oh man, I want to buy a Toyota. <laughs> um, instead, what they should yeah. do is think about this intent, you know, driven nature of the platform, right? So what if instead, you know, a, a Toyota has two great um, channels to their users. One is through their advertising. The other one is through their dealership when you drive off. Promote an app that, you know, people can use their camera to scan the VIN number. Hmm. And then, great, we know what year that car is. We know everything about it, so we know the maintenance schedule. You can send them notifications about that. Okay. You know, uh, you can send them important safety recall information, which has been a critical thing for Toyota, right? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> more importantly, you know, if you tie location into this whole thing, what if, you know, they could say, oh, hey, we've got three empty bays at the dealership, and there's, you know, 30 people within, you know, a mile who have Toyota cars who, who all need to get an oil change. Let's send out a notification to them, right. and we'll give them 20% off if they, all, if they come in in the next hour, sure. right? right? So that is the way to create a conversation with yes. mobile. Um, and it's not, you know, it's not one of those things that people aren't going to want to do. You know, the, I think the other thing about mobile that people forget is that it's not about reaching as many people as possible. It's about reaching the people who care yeah. when they care. That's the key. Even right. if it's a 10x different in the size of audience, um, sure. it's still going to be effect effective. Do you think that mobile lends itself to sort of serendipitous marketing, wanted and desired serendipitous marketing? <clears throat> well, I'll tell you, um, I, I think you probably remember Bluetooth. Sure. And the, the original use case for Bluetooth was always, um, you're walking through yeah. a, a mall <laughs> and your phone <laughs> pops up and says, oh my God, there's a coupon. At yes. This. And yes. thank God that yeah. never happened, right? right. Like we, we never got to that. And so, because that's not opt-in, right? That's spam. Sure. Sure. And so um, I do think there's, there's an opportunity for it. The problem that I've seen today, at least as far as location is concerned, um, is, you know, one, you've only got 7% of users who've used any kind of location-based service. This mm -hmm. is as of November. It's probably a little higher now. Um, so uh, the other one is that the devices are so limited in what they can do. Mm. Um, you know, you can't, you know, if a device sat there and just constantly broadcast your position, it would, it would probably run for about an hour and, it'd, you know, melt in your pocket, sure. right? Yep. So I think that we're still a little bit of ways away. I mean, it's going to happen. It's inevitable. Um, I just think we're still a little, little ways out for it. Um, and when it does happen, then, then the question to become, you know, if I'm Starbucks, and I want to send out offers to people. Um, if you did geofenced notifications for Starbucks, people would hate Starbucks, right? Because sure. like every corner, you know, you'd get a notification. <laughs> Frappuccino, That's you true. know, it's like, right, whoa. Right. So how do you balance that, you know, the effectiveness of location and, and the sort of the timeliness with users once they're intense, right? Mm -hmm. And I think that's where the real value is going to be. Um, you know, it's a lot, it, it feels a lot like the 90s again mm -hmm. with what's happening with mobile, where, you know, everybody thought that it was going to be about, you know, advertising and it was, oh, you know, drop $30 million on banner ads and your company's made, right? Yeah. And it turned out that it was actually about search and finding the things that you cared about and then having advertising kind of ride along with that. Right. Um, I think the same thing is going to be true on mobile. It's, it'll be a different paradigm that evolves, but it's not going to be, you know, ads hmm. um, the, the way that we're doing today. So today, ads, the reason ads have such high click-through rates is because people have fat thumbs. Uh. <laughs>
I mean, I really it's think not a business like, model, right? It's not. Right, yeah. Right. Right. So <laughs> that's the business model. Yeah, right. We need to thumbs. fatten people's thumbs. So that, <laughs> <laughs> Smaller yeah. keyboards, better thumbs. Yeah. Uh, last question I have for you: What What are the keys to building trust through mobile marketing? Um, I think the, the keys to building trust are around you know, making sure that you understand if you're lucky enough to get installed onto somebody's device, mm -hmm. um, you have to be very careful with that relationship. Um, you know, we, we've seen customers who've done, you know, who, who send out notifications about, you know, hey, our app just got updated. Yeah. Right? Okay, well, that's, that's not a reason to interrupt your user, right? That's, if, if, they, if you're sending that to sort of like get people to think about your app, you know, first of all, you're probably violating terms of service. But more importantly, you're not, you know, they're not going to think of you in a, in a, in a good light. Mm. Um, so I think if you, can, if you can do one thing really, really well and do it in such a way that you get to touch that user on a semi-regular basis, even if it's once a month, mm -hmm. um, then you're going to be much more effective. Um, and some things just don't lend to it. You know, like somebody like Coca-Cola has to do something kind of gamey and, you know, fun. Um, but then there's only so many Coca-Cola apps that you can put on your, sure. on your phone. So, so it's really tough, I think, for them to figure out what they're going to do on this screen. Right. Um, so we'll see. Right. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for being with us. Appreciate yeah. it. Thanks.